Good morning everyone. So I'm Carrie. This channel is all about Hawaii food and family and today I'm going to just take you on a tour of what I eat and it's exciting because I'm in our new kitchen. We just moved recently and so we've been here for you know about a week now and just kind of getting acclimated and getting used to the space and I love it because there's so much more space than we had in our old kitchen. So I'm just gonna show you what I eat today. So just keep watching. And the first thing I did so far was I just cut papaya because I really, I really enjoy eating papaya. Now, I don't know if it's a pregnancy thing. I've always enjoyed papaya, but I think more, I seek it out more now. And so I usually like to get mine from the farmer's markets. So if we can go on the weekends, I usually pick up like one or two. And I'm also gonna make um, ham, cheese, and veggie omelet. So I usually like to use cherry tomatoes because for one, I always can find them at the farmer's markets. And so I like to get them local if possible. We usually buy ham from the deli when we go to the market. And so I know, like I read a lot about, you know, what pregnant people should eat and all of that. So I know that, you know, they, a lot of people say like, don't eat deli meats, so. What I've been trying to do at least, for the most part, I haven't been perfect, but I've been trying to at least cook my ham before I do eat it. Um, because it kind of is a staple in our house, especially like on the weekdays when we make sandwiches. The next ingredient we're gonna add to our omelet is gonna be just some spinach. And I love adding some greens. And honestly, I love to just buy the, like, the spinach pack from like, um, Whole Foods or from other markets. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> Last ingredient that I, of course, is important is the egg. And I'm just gonna make one egg. Sometimes I do two depending on how hungry I am. But we'll just do one. Because there's ham, so there's already a little bit of protein in it. I'm just gonna make a piece of toast using sourdough bread. Yeah, we like sourdough. It's been a staple, I don't know, the last couple weeks. So pregnancy food. Maybe. And read. So in my egg, I like to just add some onion powder and I like to add black pepper. So I'm just gonna fry everything up now. And pretty much it's just basic omelet style. Super easy. But pretty, I think this is a pretty nutritious breakfast for a pregnant person. Gonna add everything in. And I always like to put a little bit more spinach because I know that it always um, it always shrinks. And people always ask me all the time if I have any like weird pregnancy cravings or anything, but honestly, like I don't feel that my diet has really changed that much. Um, if anything, I've noticed that I like this might sound really boring, but just I like a lot more fruits. Like I've been buying a whole pineapple, cutting it, uh, you know, pretty weekly, and so I'll find that at the farmers market as well. Um, I've been eating papaya, a lot of papaya, and I've been eating a lot of citrus as well. So I'll try to find local oranges and add that too, um, or I, you know, cut those up and have that for a meal. We're gonna add last bits of our craft cheese that we have in the fridge. Our favorite cheese that I like to get is the Tillamook one. So that is my favorite shredded cheese because I actually used to go to school in Portland. So uh, we would visit Tillamook from time to time and that was like on the coast of Oregon. And so I just have fond memories and I feel like if I've been to the farm or, you know, been to the creamery where some of the cheese has been made, then I feel a little bit better about buying that product. And so that's my tie with Tillamook cheese or Tillamook creamery. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this sit for a little while. I think there's more stuff than egg, so. It's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast now and just keep watching because we will be doing lunch in a little bit. 
Um, but And then I'll also give a little bit of a pregnancy update on how everything is going with that. So keep watching, um, but I'm excited to dig into my omelet here. And the funny thing about our place right now actually is that we don't have chairs yet. So we either have this in the ground or we sit or we stand and eat. So I'm just going to stand and eat this and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Mmm. Perfect. Perfect. Very, very good. Okay, we're back with lunch time now and something that I haven't eaten in a long time but I really enjoy is miso soup and I have all the ingredients. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up my green onion. And this recipe that I'm going to be using, this is actually my, gran my grandparents recipe. So back on my channel probably six years ago now, I think in 2015, right after my grandpa passed away, my grandma um, showed my cousin Ali and I how to make miso soup and we made a video on the channel and this is a recipe that she's used um, but it's a really delicious one probably the same one that my mom makes too so I've grown up eating this it was, it was pretty much a staple growing up and just like a comfort food for me so onions and we're gonna use about a half a cup of green onions and my grandma didn't add this in but I'm going to add in regular white onion as well I think it just adds nice flavor to the soup and this is a smaller size onion so probably if you use like a regular onion this one we found at the farmers market but if you use a regular onion it's probably I would just do half but this one's a little bit smaller So one of our goals, Reed and myself, one of our goals this year is to eat more at home and to cook more at home because I think last year in 2021, we did a lot of eating out, uh, just like takeout food and all of that. So this year we're really trying to save our money and we're trying to eat in and cook more at home. So let us know in the comments if you'd want to see more of what we like to cook at home. Uh, because it is a little different than when we cook with the family. With the family, it's, it's definitely a bigger, bigger meal, and you know, more it's heavier with a lot more meat and fat. And usually in the weekdays, we try to cook a little bit more healthy. I'm also gonna cut my tofu. So when it comes to tofu, I feel like everybody has their own preference to uh, type of tofu that they enjoy. Um, and for me, growing up, I really just took a liking to the firm tofu. So that's what I would I prefer to use, but I know there's a lot of people that put soft tofu in their miso soup as well. And I mean, either way is, is really good. We're gonna put in the whole wok. I'm gonna get ready is we're gonna use a half packet of bonito or, or of this SNS soup base and my mom always likes to get this one so I got this one as well but this one doesn't have any MSG and so we like to use this one and then we're gonna use about half of a cup of miso and then we're gonna mix it into water before we're putting it into our soup we're also gonna put into our soup base about a fourth of a cup of this dried shrimp and this one you can probably get at any market, but we're gonna use about a fourth of a cup of this. And my favorite thing, my favorite thing is wakame. So wakame, and I know we've used this on my channel before, but basically before you use it, you have to soak it in water first before adding it to a dish because one, it gets really salty, and two, you need it to rehydrate. And so you really only need a little bit of wakame when using wakame water in here we're gonna let it soak for a little while so now we're gonna make our soup okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to boil we're gonna uh, bring about five cups of water to boil Okay, 
so now that my water is boiling, I'm gonna start with my soup base. I'm gonna add uh, the shrimp, dried shrimp, and half of the SNS packet, and my onions. We'll let it cook for about five minutes. I'm gonna add in my miso, and I just added some water to mix the paste because the paste is quite thick. Oh, mmm, it tastes perfect. And the soup, the miso looks like it's uh, boiled in nicely. So I'm gonna add in my wakame. And for the wakame, I'm going to squeeze it. Grandma taught us to squeeze the wakame and to put it in. The last two things that we're adding in our soup are the softest ingredients, which is our tofu, and it's our green onion. Really, really good flavor. Enough salt, I feel, um, and enough miso flavor. This probably would feed, you know, like a like a family of four or so, maybe one bowl each, I would say. Okay, the last step is our green onions. I'm just gonna put all of them in, and it's gonna just add some nice color to this very, very beautiful dish. I'm gonna let it sit now for about 10 minutes and then we can have some lunch. All right, now it's time for lunch. And I did add some brown rice in my miso soup. Let's take a bite. Mm. All flavors just come together really, really nicely. The miso taste is perfect. <laughs> Do you wanna try my soup? Sure. Okay. So Reed's been working hard at, hard at work, but did you try some of my soup? Let's try some soup. To get all and you like miso soup, right? You're a miso soup. Love miso right? soup. Mmm, it's good. Yeah. A lot of times the mistake is you don't put enough miso, or you put too much. This is just right. It's good. Did you? You said that you uh, when you were growing up, to your grandparents made. Miso soup with the shrimp? Too. Yes, they did. They would put the dried shrimp in. Maybe not so much the tofu, but definitely the uh, wakame and mix it with rice. It's good. Yep. For I think for a lot of locals here, miso soup is like a go-to. And hopefully for little food. babies, they'll like lick miso soup too because it's easy to make. Yeah, it is really easy to make. So. Good job. Thank you for trying my soup. I'm gonna finish this. Um, but keep watching. I'm gonna do a little bit of a pregnancy update later and I'll show you what we eat for dinner. So it's now mid afternoon. I'm gonna make a quick snack and I have a fresh avocado here. So whenever I have a fresh avocado, I like to use it because it gets bad really fast if I don't or if I don't put it in the fridge. So today I'm just gonna make a quick guacamole and um, guacamole is something that I, through pregnancy, I haven't made a lot, but I enjoy avocado. Usually I do avocado toast, uh, but today, you know, just trying on something a little different. Avocado is perfect. It's soft. It, yeah, got it at the right time. And so while I do this, I'll just kind of share a little bit about my pregnancy so far. So today, while I'm filming this, I am 23 weeks and I would say five days. So almost 24 weeks. And um, so far I've been liking the second trimester way better than the first for sure. 
And again, if you saw my previous video, it's not like I had a really bad first trimester. Um, I just felt really exhausted and just felt like I didn't want to do anything. So this, this time around, I just feel a lot more like myself. Um, and baby, I think it's growing well. I feel her moving a lot. And it's such a weird feeling. And every time I think about it, there's a living thing in me. I just feel, I feel very grateful, but it's just, it's very, it's, I've never experienced it before. So um, we go back to the doctor next week and we go for our, a heart scan. And so I think that'll be good. I'm glad I get to see the, I, I am glad I get to go to the fetal diagnostic center one more time because I think, and hopefully it's just that one more time because that means that you know everything is normal and healthy. Okay, so now that my um, avocado is pretty, it's a good texture. I'm just gonna add in, so what I like to add into my guacamole, I like to keep it pretty simple. I don't really do any measurements, but I like to add some cumin. And this one, you have to be careful because you just don't wanna add too much. And I also like to add some onion powder. And I also like to add in some tomatoes. I'm just gonna cut a few of my cherry tomatoes. But back to pregnancy, I think so far I'm enjoying it. Um, and you know, we start, we're gonna start a pregnancy class in April and just gonna learn a little bit more about childbirth um, because that's the one thing I think I'm scared of so far. And when I think about it is like giving birth and I'm sure you know, everybody I talk to has such unique birth stories. So, some positive, some really scary. And, and I know everyone's, everyone's experience is totally different. That's one thing that we'll be doing next month. And I think I'm just trying to get myself as educated as possible when it comes to uh, being pregnant, raising a child, and just kind of, yeah, reading, reading up on as much as I can right now getting as much sleep as I can because I know and everyone tells me that after the baby's born I won't sleep till for the next like 10 years of my life so I'm preparing for all of that um, but excited you know for sure okay I'm gonna add tomatoes in here and I also like to add some garlic but let me know you know in the comments if you do have any questions about my pregnancy or if you want to share stories about your pregnancy and how it went um, because you know I always like reading about everybody else's experiences that they that you go through as well so let me go I'll mix this up a little bit you of course you need a little bit of cilantro when you make guacamole and Reed is a cilantro lover so he loves this herb we have to add our lime, our lime juice. But I think a quarter is good for this amount of guac. And the lime really is what keeps it from turning brown too later, like I noticed, because if I don't eat this all in one sitting, you know, just like a banana, it'll turn brown, it'll oxidize, but the lime will keep it from doing that. I don't know where our Hawaiian salt is, so I'm just gonna put some table salt and some pepper. Let me get some chips. I'm gonna use the, I've been liking this Sinaloa chip. It's uh, Hawaii, made in Hawaii, made here locally. Mmm, very good. Mm -hmm. Very smooth, has a lot of tang because of the lime, but creamy because of the because of the avocado. And everything else just makes it too. There's so many flavors in guacamole. With my guac and chips, I'm also going to cut up an orange. And I've been I mentioned this morning that I've been really liking citrus recently. So I, my favorite is getting these local local oranges. These local oranges from the farmer's market if I can find them because they just they're so sweet and I've just had so many good experiences with buying local oranges in the past I don't know th maybe month or so 
So I've just been really enjoying an orange like this. So let me know too, like if you have, you know, going back to pregnancy, let me know if you, sorry I'm all over the place, but let me know if you have any tips or suggestions because I think I will be hitting the third trimester soon. And um, yeah, I, I don't know what to expect. I hear you get a little uncomfortable. Um, right now it hasn't been too bad. Like I don't even sleep with a pregnancy pillow or anything. Um, but you know, I've been, I've, sometimes I forget how big my bump is though. And I try to, you know, squeeze into a small space and I realize that I have a bump there. So I have to be careful with that. Um, but other than that, I'm just enjoying this time because I know pregnancy is a very short time of your life and, you know, feeling the baby and trying to connect with the baby and just trying to make this these last three months or you know this whole time actually very memorable for for myself and for Reed. I'm gonna try one of these oranges but look how juicy this looks though I mean you can't beat like local local oranges from from Hawaii. They're really really sweet. So good. But yeah, that would be my suggestion. If you go to the farmer's market, try to find locally sourced oranges um, because, I don't know, it's just really good. So I'm gonna enjoy my snack. I have it here, my oranges, my guacamole, all locally, um, locally sourced from the farmer's market, which I really enjoy. And yeah, just keep watching. But here, I'll show you a little I'll show you a little picture of my bump. So this so far is, I know I'm wearing a sweater, but this is about me at six months. So yeah, baby's growing and everything is going well. So we're on our way to dinner now and dinner is gonna be at the Milani Clubhouse, which is a new, I think, well, it's the Milani Golf Course restaurant. And I think it's recently had, it recently has new owners. So we've never been to, I guess, this version of the restaurant. Have you been? No? Okay, so uh, I know there's like a, there's a sushi bar, there's a raw bar as well, and um, you know, the regular uh, golf course kind of food. So we will take you along and we'll see what we are eating. And we're gonna be eating with Reed's friends. So we're here at the clubhouse in Milani and I'm having a Macallan 12, which is stock. We're celebrating Kim's return to Oahu. She's moved to Canada and uh, we're welcoming her back. Tater tot nacho. Yeah, it's good. What's on it? There's some avocado. I don't know what that white sauce is, but the pickled red onions. It's a good touch. Sour cream? Oh, sour cream. The other read. Hamachi Carpaccio. This is really good. It's basically fried pork. It's called lechon. And they, it takes them three days to make this. And it's so soft, it just melts in your mouth. So definitely would recommend getting this here. Okay, I'm gonna try the kalbi. And so far, everything is really good. Uh, I didn't, this, Line, I wasn't there specifically. I was there for a work trip. So he met up with us uh, for dinner. We went out and did some food. It's all over my face. 